Ninth month, 1979, I was about this big, and that's when this HJ45 started its life here in Australia. Central Queensland. Now, Jeff that owns it, Jeff, the Mr. Land Cruiser customer, the reason it is here, has had it three years. And he bought this thing off a mate. And that mate sold it to him for a cart and a beer. And it's been before Jeff, it was uh, one family owner. So dad owned it, then son owned it, central Queensland. And then Jeff came along. Now, the reason this thing was only a carton because it had sat under a tree out in the bush for over 20 years. So it was just um, pretty badly rusted. Uh, Jeff was telling the story how he had to reskin a lot of sections, a lot of panel beating. But let me tell you, this one was a full ground up, full body off, spray the chassis, sandblast, and everything. And in that three years, not only has Jeff done it, uh, he dailies this thing, he's in it nearly every day, he tells me, and it's also done the Cape. So he's already touring in the thing as well. And uh, he's back from the Cape, back into Mr. Land Cruiser to do a few little, little upgrades. Uh, one of the upgrades this visit was uh, the disc brakes. This is a, a HJ45. Disc brakes didn't come out until 82, so uh, they've got it now. It's got the factory 40 series disc brakes. Just plug and play virtually. They're on there. I'm gonna open the bonnet and show you. There's a bit of show and tell under here and a few things that Jeff's added to it along the way. Okay, first of all, the show and tell. Um, most of you know that follow and that are into these know we do the whistle and soot. Uh, turbos, whistle and soot, air boxes and snorkels. Well, this one uh, has got the powder coated, the black powder coated version. And um, so I really wanted to show uh, that off. So you don't need a turbo to run these air boxes. This is also set up for uh, the H engine. It's set up for the 2H engine. And this is it. This looks really, really nice. So um, if this interests you, just inquire here at Mr. Land Cruiser. Uh, we love this gear. We're very proud to have it on the shelf or um, have it custom made for our customers by the guys at Whistle and Soot. Also under the bonnet, um, it's had the ACL. Another thing we're proud of, hey, the ACL full loom gone through it. Now these are extensive. They, um, the looms are custom made, not for a HJ45, but for your HJ45, for your uh, FJ45. Uh, it's, it's custom made for the car. So uh, that's in there. We've got the brake booster. Now a lot of this we sold Jeff. Jeff's done the work himself up north. Uh, the brake booster, he's done the 80 series uh, booster before we even did the disc brakes. And the head on this engine, it had a crook head, lots of cracks in it, and honestly, every H we pull apart, nine out of ten, the heads have got cracks in them. Nine out of ten Toyota engines, the heads have cracks in them, and uh, we found a beauty. We had it decked, and now it's on there, and again, he's done the cape in, in this little old H engine. I'm very, very happy. Up the front, uh, McKinnon's Cruisers. This is just a big, a big plug, this one, because uh, McKinnon sell these, we sell these. Um, Queensland made, Australian made, the McKinnon's Cruiser bars. Uh, we help Jeff with the Terra Looms. We keep them on the shelf and he's got some steadies up the front. And let's not forget there's a, a worn winch because uh, the dude does wheel it. And he went up there and he helped a lot of mates out, but this one luckily didn't get bogged the whole trip. Now let's go and have a look inside. The custom work just keeps going. Okay, inside it's 32 degrees outside today, so let's not sit in here too long. But talking about the heat, this is the opposite. It's got the brass monkey fridge, uh, keeps his old sandwiches cold and whatever else. Oh, that's been in there a while, Jeffrey. Uh, keeps things cold. It's got the Department of Interior overhead consoles. Um, these are just looking at they're probably the nicest console you can buy um, in the market. I, I believe there's been a four month wait for these. And I can see why they're very popular. The guy's very, very busy. I'm sitting on XR6 seats, which um, these ones run the Hurricane adapters. We also sell on McKinnon's adapters. There's multi choices to run your, your Falcon uh, Ford seats. Unmolested dash, he's got the radio blank. He's um, used one of the ACL uh, switch panels and he's, um, he's got lockers, a few other things up here. That way he's not drilling into his dash and he hasn't utilized the full potential of the uh, console yet. Custom made door cards, he's got the, um, the custom vinyl in here, 
and the custom carpet above my head so uh, it's really comfy again it's set up for touring and he's jeff you've done a really really neat job of this one i love it now i've got to show you inside the canopy as well because this thing is uh, set up for touring and um, he's done a great job. It's got a full red arc system in there where it's got his DC to DC. He's got um, his solar regulator and um, his monitoring system there and a few other plugs that tell you all uh, the power he's using. It's, um, it's a really nice job. Now this one has its dual battery uh, tucked into this box. There's a fridge through on the other side and some recovery gear, but normally these big trips, there's a couple of them. There's another fridge that goes here, so food on one and I'm sure bevies on the other. And other side's got more space, where this side's for all the shelves and the kitchen. They're, they're all um, closable, so nothing slides open, you don't lose anything. And the whole table system um, comes out. I'm not gonna pull it out. Uh, because I wouldn't have a clue what I'm doing. So I'll just leave it like that. But uh, on his uh, futuristic plans, Jeff said uh, he's done some damage to this tray and he goes, he loves the box, but uh, the next thing for him is a custom made steel tray uh, to carry this box. And while it's here, we're probably gonna look at the height of this thing too. It's scrubbed out a few times on him. So we're gonna tweak with the height. We've done the brakes, but before it goes home, we're gonna uh, tweak with maybe uh, throw an extra inch or two in the suspension before it leaves us. What I didn't mention when I was over the other side is that um, the reason for the tray damage is Jeff said his drum brakes when wet failed him. So hopefully the disc brake upgrade is gonna um, eradicate the brake failure now. And there's one way to find out, point it down a track. And this one has 60 series power steer upgrade. It's all fully done. Now remember Jeff's built this himself, he's added this. We, we've just sold him stuff and he's built it himself at home. So it's good to finally have the car down here and um, us to have our hands on it. He did, um, he also put new extractors on there. He's done a, a few little things like that, just tweaked it. I see new water bottles and stuff. He's, um, he went all out, it was beige. He's given it its own custom color. And just quickly underneath, it's got the full Dobson uh, suspension kit, two inch lift, and that's why we're going to tweak it, lift it a bit higher. It, 33s on steelies, so it's just, uh, Jeff's got this right, he's ready to go. So we're going to finish what we have to do, and he's coming to pick this bad boy up. But for today, HJ45, I hope you love this one as much as I do. I could really daily this.